Hey folks, it's Shane Getson here, the MLA for Laxan and Parkland. Um, in this new position that I have, um, we get to see a lot of different things that come across our desk. You know, we've had health issues, we've had um, back to school issues, we've had economy issues, we've had um, different programs and funding, we have transportation issues. Typically, most times we can help out, you know, whether it's the, the government departments or otherwise, and I find myself as an MLA, usually what I end up doing is catching those things that somehow managed to fall off the table and didn't quite get into the right bucket or into the stream that they're supposed to. Um, what I'm going to share with you is something that, that has me kind of scratching my head on this one, and, and unfortunately it's not because we're not trying on the government side. This thing is, <laughs> this thing is honestly something that we can't move quick enough. There's a constituent of mine, his name is uh, John Hankey. Now I end up talking to John on this, his, his daughter, um, Harper, has a rare condition. So one of those rare diseases. So rare in fact, there's only two kids in the province right now that have this. Now the kicker is that it's a de degenerative disease. Not the way that some of the other diseases work out there. The cognitive ability still remains intact. And the only time for this new drug treatment uh, to take place is up till about that age of two years old. Now this is uh, something that we have existing treatment for, but it doesn't work the same way. And literally what happens, little Harper will lose the ability to walk. She'll get weaker and weaker and weaker and still have all of her wits about her. And what'll happen is we'll keep treating a little Harper for the rest of her life and she won't have that enjoyment of life. She'll just keep degrading until she's to that point where she can't function anymore. But there's this new drug that's released and it's, the kicker is it's in the States. And right now it's under review by the, the federal um, administration. We, we can't get it through quick enough. Harper is literally one year old. So what I'm looking to do, and the only way that I can know how right now as a father of four, is to reach out to civil society, to reach out to you and see if you can help out and I'm gonna show you a video clip right after this that these folks, they're, they're trying everything they can. They're doing bottle drives. They're trying to do fundraisers. They have a, a, a page that's taking place. And literally, uh, I, I'm looking to you for help. I'm gonna do everything that I can to help on the government side, obviously, and our groups are, but I'm looking for you to help and I'm gonna take my own time out there as well and try to fundraise. So have a look at the, at the Hanky story, that lovely little family there. And I implore you, give us a hand to see what we can do to help them out. So this is our story for uh, Harper, our daughter here, who's one in, turned one in July. Um, she has spinal muscular atrophy type one, which is a neuromuscular genetic disease. Um, they uh, usually have a mortality rate of two years old without treatment. Um, what we're doing right now is campaigning for fundraising for a treatment uh, that's not approved in Canada yet. And our whole family has been working hard on it. This is my wife, Amanda. Cohen, who's six years old, uh, Kinsley over there, who's four years old, and I'm John. So this is kind of our story of what we've been dealing with since the diagnosis of SMA since uh, January of this year. Um, we've got a long road ahead. We're currently fundraised. 269000 Since July. We started in July for fundraising, and uh, you know, we got a goal of $2.8 million dollars. And the treatment can only be done until they're two years old. That's the FDA recommendations. We got a ton of current <laughs> fundraisers going. Um, some of the easy ones are collecting bottles. We've actually had a lot of success with that with uh, some bigger corporations helping us out with the uh, bottle drives. We had Sturgeon Valley Fertilizer raised uh, about $12,000 through a big 50 th 53 foot trailer. Uh, completely full. Um, that was a couple weeks ago. Um, people all over the city, actually someone in Toronto doing a bottle drive as well. Um, and then what else do we got? At this time we have a meat fundraiser. Um, we're selling beef jerky, pepperoni, and sausage, and pulled pork. We have a walkathon coming October 17th with Body Architects. We have um, we have uh, Sober October coming. It's $30 tickets for that. Um, we have others in the works that haven't quite been nailed out. We have a lot of small companies that are donating portions of their sales to us, and they and then we are doing an auction. So we were doing an auction the last week of September 
Um, about 200 small businesses have donated items and um, we're really hopeful and that is one of our major fundraisers that we have. So we are so lucky that we have um, this lady from Calgary, Ashley, with um, Millie's, she owns, <laughs> she owns Millie's Little Closet and she is actually organizing it for us. Um, so if you did want to donate an item, you can contact her on Instagram. It's like at Millie's Little Closet and she is phenomenal. She is so great. Um, if you were hoping to donate funds, we do have two methods. You can either e-transfer me or we have um, a link to our GoFundMe page on both our Instagram and Facebook. Our Facebook page is myhero.harper. And that is same the same. with Instagram. And actually her website is myheroharper.com. And that kind of links you to a bunch of fundraising uh, ways to support. Um, can I give just a background on like SMA and what it is? Yeah. So SMA is spinal muscular atrophy. Harper has spinal muscular atrophy type one, which is the most aggressive form of this disease. Um, this disease is a progressive a disease that actually robs people of their physical strength. So that includes walking, talking, breathing, um, essentially the heart and the lungs are a muscle that do tend to fail with this disease. The thing is their cognitive awareness is not altered or affected. So she is cognitively alert and aware, but physically she might not be able to move. Just because she looks great right now doesn't mean that tomorrow she the disease is progressive so tomorrow we don't know what has in store in saying that um her lungs are really really weak so any cold or viruses that are in our household does is really damaging to her and last year we were actually in the icu because of the rotavirus so rsv so in our life it's really important to not get sick or have illnesses in our house because unfortunately um it can be detrimental to her yeah Obviously, you've seen what I was talking about with the Hanke family. And again, I'm a little bit uh, stumbling through this you know, type of presentation online as well. I'm still new at that. And one of the things that I have coming up is a fundraising event uh, out at the Canadian Historical Arms Society. So October 10th, out at the Canadian Historical Arms Society by um, the Genesee Power Plant out there, uh, the Society has graciously offered a bunch of their clubs. We're going to have three-gun uh, cowboy action, long range, and we're also going to have service rifle. We're also going to be doing a silent auction, and I'm reaching out to uh, you know the civil societies, the different organizations out there that can donate something for us for a silent auction, and we're going to have uh, a supper as well. The idea is that you come to the, to the Genesee Hall around 10 in the morning, we'll bus you out to the actual uh, gun range itself, and each one of those clubs will take you through, and you get a get to try a bunch of all this different type of styles of shooting. We'll have a heck of a good time at the end of the day, and then We'll go back to the hall, have supper, and we'll have that silent auction. So stay tuned out there. I'm reaching out to all those good groups. You'll probably see something out in the aviation community as well. Again, looking for folks to reach out within their normal organizations, see if they can help us out to raise some funds for Little Harper, and uh, hopefully we can pull together you folks and do the right thing by this little one. Uh, we still get a chance. She's coming up on that two years is when that mark is. And uh, again, if we can do something to pull it together to help these folks out, I think it would be in all of us um, to do the best we can to help. Thank you.